There's only one thing that keeps this world spinning. One thing that keeps this world on its feet. There's only one thing that cures the solitude in our hearts. One thing that guides us away from the impurities of the world. One thing we call a dream. Every single one of us dreams dreams day by day. We dream dreams that range from being so strange and meaningless to being so profitable and meaningful. I once had a dream. A dream of exceeding the expectations of society. A dream of becoming someone greater than the stereotype that surrounded me. A dream of using the only thing that was given to me by the grace of God to become something remarkable. Using the one thing that together with the power of a dream created an unstoppable force of light guiding me in the footsteps of life. The one thing that teaches us what we know. The one thing that is a light to all. The one thing we call an education. And what would we be without the abiding force of a dream and an education? The moment we forget about our dreams, the moment we forget about our education, that will be the moment we forget about our lives. And if we forget about our lives, we're like an empty vessel floating on a vast ocean of despair. Many of us have forgotten about our lives already. Many of us are probably already drowning in our own despair. And I can guarantee you we are not the only ones, for there are thousands who live among us around the tips of our noses, dragging their hearts with the last bit of hope that remains, dragging their hearts in hopes that one day a door will be open wide enough to toss their hearts and their dreams inside, keeping them safe for as long as can be. If we pay close attention, we can see the drag marks of their hearts. We can see the dust lifted off the ground by these hearts. You see, mine is right in front of me. For only a year ago, I became one of the 1.4 millions of immigrants who had lived long enough to drag our hearts to a point where we could finally be noticed. When we heard the term deferred action for childhood arrivals coming out of the mouths of the government, the words dream and opportunity resonated in our ears. When we heard the legislative proposal dream act, all we could think was about our opportunity to keep dreaming through a higher education. Programs like these do more than give us a simple reason to hope. They give us a reason to hold our hearts. They give us they save us from our deaths. They save us from the death of the entire world. The light that shines through a dream is contagious. We need more of them, not less. This nation needs more of them, not less. It is said, we are a nation of immigrants. But I say, we are also a nation of dreamers. A nation that thrives solely because we are capable of dreaming. And as we keep giving life to these dreams, we keep giving life to the world.